into the snow. <laughs> Going into my eyes. Famous uh, market in Otaru. Hey, let's check it out. Sankaku Ichiba. Dozo. Hey, wow, the crabs here. Just like in Hakodate. There, there's a restaurant or store on the first floor called Otaru Bain. <laughs> oh, it's adorable. Good morning everybody, good morning from Otaru. It's a beautiful day. As you can see, the skies are blue. So happy about that because the forecast was actually inclement weather. So this is great. But today, we're going to take you guys along a walk along the streets of Otaru. Good morning everybody. We just finished doing a Christmas live stream at the hotel. So it is actually around 11 a.m. now. So almost noon time. Uh, I'm not sure how much of Otaru I can show you guys. I'll do my best. We're only here for the day and then we go, we leave tomorrow early in the morning to Sapporo. So I'm gonna do my best. So first thing we have to do is Satoshi needs to go buy a bandage for his finger because he cut his finger today with a cake knife. Uh, so right away, I'm gonna just point out some things here. Very, very typical of Otaru. Otaru has a lot of old buildings from the past. As you can see, a lot of them were warehouses. Uh, this one, I, I think it could be a bank. I'm not sure. I'll check later. But first of all, let's go get your bandage. Oh, look at this wall of snow here. Oh. Winter time is beautiful in Otaru. However, I do have to say, it is a little bit challenging to walk. Kochi, doko? Kochi? Ah. This way. This is the main street of Otaru. One of the main streets leading uh, to the train station over there. All right, I'm just gonna check. What kind of building is this here? This beautiful building. This is the former Otaru branch of Dai Yonju Shichi Bank. It's actually made of wood, constructed, constructed in 1936. Wow, very interesting, it's beautiful. You know, in front of the, uh, the old buildings, you'll see these plaques like this. It explains to you in Japanese and of course in English, and Russian and Korean and Chinese what the building is. Okay. Hi. Okay, so we're back on the main street. Okay. Oh, okay, we're gonna go this way. Although it's not snowing today, which is a good thing, because of the freezing temperatures, the ground is frozen, so you do have to be careful. I'm getting a little bit used to it, but it's still kind of scary. Yesterday, all day long, I've been seeing people almost slipping. Here's, here's another building. The former Otaru branch of Yasuda Bank, uh, built in 1930. Check this out. Hard to get the whole building in the camera, but it's beautiful. I really like this building. It's so detailed and beautiful. Wow. Love it, love it. Look at look how tall this uh, wall of snow is here behind me. <laughs> look at that. You got Pizza Hut delivery store here. Yeah, Otaru is a pretty uh, built up city, I think. It was even a Burger King at the station, which was kind of surprising. Burger King? Burger King, yeah, there was a Burger King at the station. Yeah. And uh, there are shops on either sides of the road. There is even a department store called Nagasaki in front of the station. We checked it out yesterday. Uh, there's a food. A uh, hall on the bottom floor. We didn't really go there, but it said 
on the directory there's a Daiso on the third floor, floor third floor and then on the third and fourth floors there's a Don Quixote store inside the department store okay here's a little park here it just looks like a bunch of snow at the moment but it's very historical you see Satoshi showing you what's so special about this can you explain what, what, what is this? This is a railroad. Former railroad. railroad. Former railroad. Still remain the rail. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. This is the first railroad in Hokkaido. First railroad in Hokkaido. Yeah, yeah and ex extends all the way down there. To Sapporo. All the way to Sapporo? Yeah. And Otani. All the way down there. There is, there is a station. Uh -huh. there. there used to be a station there. Cargo station. I see. And now it's just used as like a street or a park or something like that right yeah so it's all snow covered right now but it's pretty cool it's pretty cool i have to come back during the summer i think I, I'd, I'd like to take a walk along this the railroad tracks since that's possible and just like any japanese city you can find all your conveniences like lawson's and 7-Eleven and Family Mart, yeah, I've seen all three there's a Lawson across the street there that Lawson to me in particular is housed in a really nice building look at that I love that building actually I love a lot of the buildings here in Otaru it's really beautiful look at this Look at this tall wall of snow here. Look at that. It's like way taller than me. <laughs> okay, so the station is down there. We are turning in here because we're going to check out this uh, market that they have. Hopefully they are open. Not sure though. It's a Saturday and it's past 11 a.m. Usually uh, the markets, those... Uh, Japanese wet markets are only open during the morning hours so we'll see should be interesting though it's also uh, located near a very old shoten guy guys you know since yesterday it was so cold for me and Satoshi we're both a little bit frightened about how cold it was going to be today because the forecast calls for inclement weather like I mentioned but it's really nice today sure it's cold it's like minus six or something but it's not bad i think um if you add wind to this it would be terrible <laughs> but so far so good check out all this snow i guess there's a truck that comes by and like shovel all the snow out to the sides i guess to make it possible for the cars to pass. Negra. Ethnic Okinawa. <laughs> so this is an ethnic Okinawa restaurant. Interesting. What does that mean? This is soba restaurant here. What does ethnic Okinawan food mean? I'm confused. Look at this building here it's nice but it looks like it's about to fall apart though it's, it's nice though i like the walls it's quite interesting oh that was a funeral home sorry i don't know why i thought it was a public bath and looks like this is actually the market all the shutters are closed so now i'm curious does that mean all the shutters here are open and there are like individual stalls oh that would be interesting to see huh all right where did he go did he go this yeah okay here he is. That's the market. 
Hmm. Okay. So, all right. So, so this side, the market on this side is for uh, wholesale, not for, not for people like us. And this side is for people like us. Maybe. Oh. Okay. That way. Which way? Dochi. Inside. Inside. The market is yeah. inside. Yeah, this is Hokkaido. Oh, okay. The market is. All right, right, right. It's Hokkaido, so it's too cold. Okay, let's go inside. Let's walk through. Okay, so this is Otaru Central Market, and it doesn't look like there's much happening, but I think it's because maybe the time. Antique store. Uh, maybe it's busier in the mornings. Yeah, I think so. Here's like a fish market here. Maybe you can buy fish here and eat it here? Uh, maybe. Don't know. Hey, look, look, look. It's a long time ago. There's a little replica of um, what a living room used to look like in Showa 30. That's before I was born. That was like so ne, that's like 1954. Hmm. Interesting. I guess that's an old bicycle maybe? Ne. Tabun moto haiji ga datta. Tabun koko market ga tabun naka uitteru da yo ne. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I think if we came earlier, you would see people selling their wares here. There, there's some activity going on at the end there. Ah, maybe it used to be busier back then. Here's some pic old pictures, old photos of the market. Interesting, look. Wow, look at this. This is what it used to look like back then. Ah, it's pretty cool. I love old photos like this. I really do. Interesting. What an interesting market. Yeah. There's a tofu shop in a little deli. They're selling some ready-made food there. A fish shop here. Ooh, salmon. Got some fresh fish here. Yeah. Uh, here's a butcher shop, a meat store. Interesting. Oh, actually, guys, it continues. It continues. Oh, careful, there's a car. Oh, it looks like there are more shops here. Hey, there's a shoten guy over there. A covered arcade there. This is a kind of shoten guy. Yeah, this is uh, probably that that Showa era shoten guy that I read about. I don't remember the name. Let's check it out. Oh, so happy that it's bigger than I thought. This is a uh, deli. Looks like they're closed already. They sell bentos and stuff. Wow, what is this? It's an old shop. What? It's an old shop. Okay, so this is a replica of the old uh, train station. That one. Okay, so is she like a seller? Or... I see, so she... She's going to hop on a train and she's taking her vegetables to go sell at another town, something like that. Oh, this is nice. Here's a little shop selling uh, Japanese sweets here, like mochi and manju. Wow, I like this. Tea shop, flower shop. Hey, this is kind of nice. Yeah. Wow, it's different from I was what I was expecting. I, I thought it would be like Tsukiji, but it's more like a neighborhood place, you know, where everyone comes to just shop. 
normally. Oh, they still have persimmons here. Dried persimmons. And you have uh, more fish. Oh. Selling all sorts of like a little side dishes here. Yeah, let's take a look back. Oh, I like this uh, very homey local atmosphere. That was interesting. And one more. Oh, one more section. Wow, it's pretty big. I, I'm quite surprised. Yeah, the central market. Wow. Here's a place selling like normal everyday stuff here. Got a meat shop there. Huh. Like a store selling all sorts of stuff like udon and kamaboko, natto, eggs. Interesting. Dry goods like uh, nori. Sardines, dried sardines, dried fish. Oh, uh, tsukemono pickled vegetable shop. Oh. Oh. Some bowls and stuff on sale. Very cheap. 50 yen. Very reasonably priced. And this is a little uh, candy store. Candy store here. Mm. Store selling tomatoes, canned tomatoes, and other stuff. Wasn't that neat? I actually enjoyed that. I am glad that we checked this place out. That was very interesting to me. Look, there are more like fish more. shops here one more one more area cool sankaku market okay i I've, I've heard of that place it's pretty famous isn't it it's interesting look you can see the mountains in the background well is that a mountain or is that a hill i don't know but it's uh covered with snow and you see some houses on the on the cliffs okay let's cross the street this is one of the more built-up uh, streets of Otaru. I guess you could call it the business district. Sure, of course, you can go to 7-Eleven. We need to get your bandage, right? Yep. While I was waiting for Satoshi to buy the band-aid for his finger, uh, the weather has changed. No more blue skies. It is actually starting to snow again. I hope it doesn't snow hard. <laughs> like this is fine. Look at that wall of snow. <laughs> I know I keep pointing the wall of snow out, but it's kind of amazing to me. Hmm. Actually, this street is very, um, how do you say, very modern, huh? This particular street here. The busy, the, yeah, the very busy. Oh my god, the snow is really coming down now. Oh, look at these cute masks. Very old fashioned masks for kids. They, they used to be sold all over Japan at festivals. Oh, all right, so we're going to Sankaku Market. Look at the snow <laughs> going into my eyes. Sankaku Market. Ah, here we are. This is Sankaku Market, Triangle Market, a very famous uh, market in Otaru. Wow, 
looks pretty major. All right, let's check it out. Sankaku Ichiba. Dozo. Oh wow, this is a pretty bustling market. Hey, it's going there. Hey, wow, the crabs here. Just like in Hakodate. <gasps> oh my god, what is that fish? I've never seen that fish before. Oh, oh, it's going. Oh my gosh, huge crab. I wonder. Interesting. You, uh, they'll actually cook the crab here for you. You can eat it here. So it's kind of like the market at Hakodate, huh? the morning market. Yeah, here's the uh, hairy crabs. That's the Tarabagani, the giant crab. Interesting. Very interesting. Oh, oh, here's a restaurant here. You can eat some seafood bowls here. More seafood on this side. Oh, this is kind of nice. Hey. For me, it seems like the prices are cheaper than in Hakodate. I don't know. Oh, pretty busy. Oh, people eating inside. Seafood bowls. The prices are quite reasonable, don't you think? Like 2,000 yen, 2,500 yen. Yeah? Is this salmon? salmon. Dried salmon? Interesting. Okay. Can you eat some sashimi here? Boiled mantis shrimp. It's called the Selfin Poacher. いくらとか良かったら丼乗ってるズワメなんかも味できますから。はい、定食もありますよ。定食丼。はい、こちら三店舗お隣上も一緒のお店です。ああ、そうですか。へえ。Guys, the 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 prices here are quite reasonable. Yeah, I hate to say this, but much more reasonable than Hakodate. Oh my God, the crab is escaping. <laughs> Oysters, scallops. Wow. How come we never knew about this place before? Yeah. Ah, squid. You got more scallops and oysters. Oh, the, the prices are reasonable here. I don't know how much the crab is. Yeah. Wow. Is, is that the price for the whole salmon? Really, three kilograms for 4,000 yen. I guess that's not bad. Yeah, this is my third time here. I didn't even know about this place. <laughs>でも結構ね、観光客がいたよ。うん、みんな知ってるね。ああ、乗ってる乗ってる乗ってる。So, yeah, here's another place where you can eat uh, fish, seafood. どこ行っても海鮮丼だね。海鮮丼だね。Wow, so Sankaku Ichiba, Sankaku Market. Ah, totally recommend this place. <laughs> Fascinating. Didn't even know this existed. And Satoshi didn't even know about this place. <laughs> he said he was never interested in markets before he met me. That's true though. It's true though. 
I think I mentioned to you guys before, but he usually comes, he usually likes to travel to go see monuments, you know, all the major tourist spots. But this is actually, I think this is a, this is worthy of a visit, for sure. For me, this is a tourist spot. Oh, look at the snow, it's like really coming down. I guess the weather report didn't lie, right? We're gonna, I'm gonna show you some of the uh, the buildings, the, the cool architecture. So, so that's uh, Otaru Station. We're saying goodbye to Otaru Station, passing by this mountain of snow. Ah, there's Mr. Donut. <laughs> Since coming to Otaru, I haven't seen a McDonald's. <laughs> not that, not that I'm hungry for McDonald's. Like. I'm just used to seeing McDonald's everywhere. I haven't even seen a Starbucks either. I wonder if there's a Starbucks in Otaru. Oh, it's a Starbucks. It's a Okay, you want to go to Don Quixote later? No. For what? By SD card. SD card? Mm. Okay, by SD card. Sure, sure. Let's cross this way. Yeah. Otaru Station! It's actually a beautiful station building, I gotta say. Yeah. It's very retro. It reminds me a little bit of Ueno Station, the style. And there's a bus terminal. Oh, and here is Nagasaki. This is the uh, major department store in Otaru. I think it's the only department store in Otaru. Yeah, and inside here you'll find Daiso on the third floor and Don Quixote on the third and fourth floors Restaurants and basement floor, there's a food hall oh. And I'm getting used to the snow and I gotta say, snow is better than rain You know, I'm getting snowed on but it's not making me feel all wet and yucky Okay, we're gonna go buy an SD card So we're inside the department store. There is a tiny, tiny bookstore as well, but it's like the smallest bookstore I've ever seen. This is the second floor. Second floor has like clothing, clothing stores and eyeglass shops. And I think a small stationery store as well. Okay, got a third floor. That's where all the fun stuff is. Uh, this is where Daiso and Don Quixote is. Yeah, this is Daiso here. Daiso. Look! They're selling New Year's, New Year's stuff. Okay, we're walking through Don Quixote now. Mostly food stuff here. But, if you're looking for things like Kit Kats and stuff, yeah, the prices are much better here. Variety's better here too. Usually. This is the stationary area with pens and stuff. Toy section. Puzzles. Kawaii section. And what we come to look for SD cards. Satoshi got what he needed. I'm gonna go back outside. It's Saturday today, so a lot of people out and about shopping today. It's nice to see that. Okay, so now we're gonna um, walk around the historical part of Otaru. Actually, it's a pretty large area, so we're only gonna show you one area 
of the historical part. I'm actually just following Satoshi. I don't really know directions to anywhere yet. Very, very bad at directions, which is why I usually find myself lost, especially in a new city. I even still get lost in Tokyo. You can't just look at the street. It's a cool street. Love that. Nostalgic road. Nostalgic road. Yes. Yes. So, I guess we're passing through one of the covered shoten guys. This is one of the covered arcades. I believe they have two or three of them here in Otaru. Oh, oh, it's kind of nice. Oh, you got a shoe store. You got like some cafes here. A little grocery store here. Hi. Oh. Oh, look at this. This 24-hour vending machine for gyoza, uh, butamang, meat buns, and egg tarts. Oh, they are frozen, so you have to, you have to take take them home and enjoy them at home. This is Le Cafe. It's a Chinese food restaurant. Oh, this is fun. I like checking out the, the local Shoten guys whenever I travel because you can see how the locals live. Hey. Wow. That's very reasonable, Nishin. This is fish, but just 100 yen for the dried fish. It's herring. It's hey. Otaru actually became a profitable city. Uh, way back in the day, um, um, fishing for herring, um, hmm. clothing, they sell clothing, and it's a DIY store, like for something, I'm not sure. <laughs> Sorry. Here's a little hair salon. Ah, it's interesting. Nice little clothing store there. えやっぱり昼間来ると、ちょっとね、賑やかでね。Import gallery. Looks like a fashion store. Oh, this is lovely, 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 lovely. Chinese restaurant. Huh. Got more clothing to buy here. Uh, dress shop mode. This place is not open today. Glasses shop. I got a bakery here. Oh, nice to see a bakery. First bakery I've seen since I've come to, since we've come to Otaru. It's a pretty quiet shoten guy, I gotta say. This is a pharmacy here. I gotta be careful of the icy streets. It's icy even in a covered shoten guy. I really love the side streets. I have to say, this is very nice. I actually prefer these little side streets. <laughs> Icicles! Icicles! I think icicles are so cool to look at, but they look super dangerous. Whoa, can I touch it? Wow, oh my god, the icicle is super hard. I thought if I touched it, it would break. It didn't break. It's actually very, very hard. Very, very strong. <laughs> I don't know why you are so impressed about the icicle. I'm, I'm, I'm entertained by icicles. They're very interesting to me. Just ice. Just ice. Oh, dangerous but ice. Dangerous ice. But they are work. They are works of art by Mother Nature. <laughs> ah, here's another bakery. 
I like any city that has bakeries. I love bakeries. All right, that was interesting. That was interesting. Oh, there's a hotel inside the Shotengai. Oh, it looks like a pretty nice hotel. The Authent Hotel Otaru. Authent. Interesting. Hey, look, that's another bakery across the street. I found three bakeries. So all the bakeries are in this area. Look at that building over there. That red brick building. Four story building there. It's a cafe and bar called Canel. It's nice. This is a hotel, Authent Hotel. Looks like a pretty grand hotel. Oh, I love that building. And here's another shotengai here called Sammoru. Hey, Sammoru Ichibangai. Okay, we're not gonna go in there. Let's continue with this uh, architectural tour. So once again, the biggest draw for me uh, to Otaru is the architecture. The architecture, the fact that uh, lots of the old buildings have remained untouched or have been preserved or have been renovated. So it gives the city a very unique charm. Sorry, I think I was walking like a penguin just now. I can't help it because the ground is very slippery. Look at this, immediately you can see some of the old uh, building. That's a Japanese building right there. Looks like a kura or a Japanese warehouse. And the building next to it has turned into a towel shop. I, I like how they um, preserve the old building and they use it for something else. I really like that. When I went to Los Angeles downtown, I really enjoyed walking around because of the architecture. The architecture is stunning in downtown LA. Love, love, loved it. Uh, this looks like another old building here. It says Shingu Shoko Limited, established 1906. It's this building right here, built in 1906. Actually, it kind of looks like a house. This is part of the, the train track. And this is the train track, and this the, was a station. This was a station, really. Former Temiya Railway. Operated between 1880 and 1985. 1885. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Oh no. Oh my gosh. No. Uh oh. Uh oh. 1882 to 1985. I can't go any further than this. Oh my gosh. Okay. Oh my gosh. Oh. <laughs> it's not too bad. <laughs> Actually, that was kind of fun. So we're on this street called Nichi Gindori and this is the place, this is the street where most of the early western style architectures are located. Here's another one coming up on the right side. You see that building there? I believe that is uh, the former Daichi Ginko. Kana? Tokyo Bank, I think. This building looks old too. This is the Otaru Local Savings Office. It's now the Otaru Literary Museum and Otaru City Museum of Art. Oh, look at this gorgeous building here. Uh, this one, there, there's a restaurant or store on the first floor called Otaru Bain. Honey. Hokkaido Ginko, Hokkaido Bank, the former main branch of the Hokkaido Bank. Ah, oh, built in 1912. Suddenly the sky is turning blue. Weather is changing all the time. Ah, oh, that's nice. Still snowing, but not as not as uh, hard as it it was. Yeah. So that's another very historical building there. And this building as well. This is Otaru Post Office, but 
I believe this is one of the older buildings as well. Look at that building, that's beautiful too. And this one here. Oh, it's a museum. It's a museum now. Okay. Oh, so beautiful. We're gonna walk down this street. Uh, this is one of the major uh, tourist places. At the same time though, definitely worth coming to because it's also uh, very uh, it's a very well preserved area ah this is the former otaru branch of mitsubishi bank here all right so just 30 seconds from that street with all the buildings the the, the banks we're here at sakai suji dori and this is the main tourist spot for people who come to otaru but it's also very very historical lots of preserved uh, houses, warehouses. This is the. This is, yeah. You see, that's one of the old warehouses here, and now it's a glass shop. And right next to it is this charming canal. Hello, duckies. You guys aren't cold in there. Oh my goodness! Can't believe it. And you know, snowman doesn't exist in Hawaii. And we hardly see them in Tokyo either. But you do see a lot of them here. Look! <laughs> oh, it's adorable! I did a night walk for you guys and um, I, I did visit this place and showed you guys. But the snowmen look prettier, well cuter, in the daylight. Hello, we're back again. Hello! Nice to meet you. We'll be back again next year. Ah, this area is really, really charming. Across from the snowman is this candle shop over there. You can make your own candles. That's Lomankan. That's a cafe and a shop. This is uh, Lomankan. I love this building. This building is old too, huh? Oh yeah, it is. Here it says, uh, this is a former Otaru brand, branch of Hyakujusan Bank. Oh, this is also a bank. So many banks. Ah, and we walked along this street here last night. This is the Sushi Street, where you can find a lot of sushi shops, one after another. And surprised. yeah, me too, I was very surprised. And now we're gonna walk along um, this very historical but popular street. Here, this is another old uh, uh, store. It's a building. The former Motosaburo Kaneko store, uh, built in 1887. This is also a very nice, preserved building. Love it. It's really nice. Yeah, accessory market on the first floor. I love all the all the snowmen. <laughs> oh, what is this? The Tuji. Alien. It's an alien. It's an alien snowman. Ah, this shop is uh, selling glass glass things. Oops. Almost slipped again. <laughs> and this is where you can find all your street food. Lots and lots of souvenirs. Look at this, isn't this beautiful? It's such a beautiful street with all these preserved buildings on both sides. Almost every single one of the buildings are from a different era. Like this one right here is the Iwanaga Clock Store uh, built, in, built between 1897 and 1906. Made of stone on wooden framing. We decided to cross the street. That way I can show you the buildings on that side look at that I love that I wonder what that used to be that this this warehouse too looks really nice I'm slipping I'm slipping all over the place but I'm not falling so that's good look at all the snow it's crazy isn't it all the snow up there This is, 
you know what? I have a feeling that um, I'm not going to be sh able to show you guys every single structure and building. It's just too much. It's like every single one of the buildings are beautiful. <laughs> wow. Yesterday, we made a video for Tabi Eats street food video and we tried a whole bunch of stuff on this street. However, we also found a really nice place just now actually. I didn't show it to you on this video. I didn't want to, you know, give everything out. So you, ha you do have to watch that video to see what we're talking about. But it was so good. The, it, it, it was, it was, um, I always thought it was something, I, I've heard about it before. I thought it was something that was more modern because it sounded modern, but no, it, it's actually a pastry that they've been serving since the Meiji era. That's like over a hundred years ago. So please watch that video when it comes out. Or I'm not sure, maybe it did come out already on Tabi Eats. Man, I mean, maybe it did come out on Tabi Eats first. So please watch that video. Oh kind of reminds me a little bit of like a I don't know like a old western movie like a like a town that you see in an old western movie is that weird now it's getting very cold Sami this is a really cute store got to check it out Oi. I really do have to think about this GoPro situation. My, my uh, battery, all three batteries died already. I think because it's too cold. Yeah, and I, I haven't filmed that much. Usually three batteries would last me, you know, like almost three hours. But, <laughs> I yeah, we've well, been filming about an hour. Not even an hour, I don't think I, N not even an hour really. Oh, really gotta think of a solution for this. Either that or I can't use my GoPro during the winter time. This is a cute craft store. Fine craft, Hokkaido crafts. It's cute. Looks like uh, wood. First it things I made saw, of wood. First I thought it is chocolate. <laughs> you thought it was chocolate. <laughs> well, they, they do kind of look like chocolate. Looks like chocolate. Yeah. Right next door is another souvenir gallery. And of course, the amazing architecture in this area. Yeah, I'll never get tired of looking down this street, walking down this street. Never get tired of it. All right, we're gonna, it's a pretty long street, so we're gonna like zoop, teleport really quickly over there. I'm gonna show you a couple more places here. Ah, uh, right here. This is also two of my favorite places. Lokkate and Kitakaro, two very, very famous uh, Hokkaido brands, and they have shops right next to each other here. This is Lokkate here. Uh, everything they make is delicious. Trust me, you can get some cream puffs here, freshly made cream puffs, for just 102 yen, and it includes a cup of coffee. And right next door, after you have the, the cream puff and the cup of coffee, you can come right next door to Patissie Kitakaro. You can get yourself some of these incredible rice crackers. Trust me, they are so good. This is the entrance to the store. And Satoshi and I, we both agree that they have the best Baumkuchen cakes in Japan. Trust me, trust us when you say, when we say, you have to visit these shops. Blue Tao for the double cheesecake. Um, uh, Lokate for their raisin sandwiches. And Kitakara for their rice crackers and Bamkuhin. Please, please just try it. Oh, all right, 
So we are almost at the end of this uh, road. So we are almost at the end of the road. And look, there's another Lutel shop there. That store specializes in uh, Danish, using their uh, Hokkaido cheese, fromage Danish. And then this is the other Lutel shop. You can also get their famous double fromage cheesecake here. This is what the cheesecake looks like. It's incredible. <laughs> it really is. It really, really is. And by the way, this is where we bought our Christmas cake this year. For those of you who've watched our uh, Christmas Day live stream, yeah, we bought our Christmas cake, Christmas cake here at Lutao. Oh my gosh, my speech is getting all funny again. My mouth is not working properly because it's so cold. See, they were selling Christmas cakes, assortment of Christmas cakes. We got the Santa Claus Christmas cake. Uh, do I want soft serve right now? I don't think so. It's too cold. Oh, that's a nice tree here. Okay, we are about at the end of the road. Can you guys tell I'm kind of um, walking faster now because it's the temperature's really dropping for some reason. But then that was forecasted, so good thing it didn't it didn't blizzard today. So this crossroads here marks the end of this street that we just walked down. This street right here. And uh, uh, that's a nice uh, cafe there. There's a Hello Kitty cafe there as well. Um, right here um, in this beautifully preserved building is Otaru's um, uh, music, music box store. Yeah, it's really nice if you like music boxes and then when you walk that way it leads to the canal and that's where we're going now on the way to the canal um we stopped by this uh soft surf place yeah i know crazy right but we wanted to get uh, we want to shoot one more thing for the tabi's video and we're trying to finish it now look <laughs> it's a mess we finished the, the top two layers though but look at this it's been about 10 minutes we we took close-ups and everything it's it, it hasn't even started to melt or anything. Sami is so cold. It's like a, very, a little bit close to sorbet. Like sorbet, yeah. Yeah, it, it, it's, it's not quite as creamy as soft serve <laughs> usually is because we're basically eating this outside but kind of like in a freezer. <laughs> Oh, but this is really good though. I do like the fact that you can take your time and it doesn't melt. And it is tasty. But definitely need something warm to drink after this. Mm. Mm. That's good. So cold, so cold. Oh my gosh, I look okay, right? Guess what? Uh, last year in Otaru, and I actually slipped on ice. Oh wow, I slipped. <laughs> it's pretty painful. But fortunately, I have a backpack. And um, on my back, I fell on my back. So I feel like the backpack saved me from any more pain. Oh, that was scary. But now I kind of know how it feels to slip on ice. <laughs> Not a good feeling. So guys, I want to show you this place before the sun went down, but it's okay. It's brighter than uh, yesterday. It was really dark when we came here last night. Sunset's pretty early at this time of the year. But that's the Christmas tree uh, made with uh, these uh, lamps. It's really pretty. It's very, very otaru. 
And these are the warehouses along the canal. And this is a beautiful view of the canal with the blue twinkling lights. Yeah, something you can only see during the winter time. Ah, it's really pretty. This is a view my mom really likes. I might have mentioned that yesterday as well. But yeah, my mom, my sister and I, we all came here a long time ago. Take photos here. Oh. Oh. Okay, let's... I feel like pains like here and there. Oh, <laughs> uh, no, no, no. Anyway, uh, let's walk down to the canal area. Hopefully I don't slip again. Let's hope not. I don't want to break the camera. <laughs> I'll be very careful. I have like four more days in Hokkaido, so I want to I want to get home in one piece <laughs> I also love these lamp posts here that's like the perfect picture isn't it ah, so nice ah so nice ah, isn't this beautiful Snow on both sides, snow all, everywhere you look really, except for the canal. Still on top of the roof, <laughs> the icicles that I'm obsessed with. Ah, it's beautiful. So our journey in Otaru ends here. Uh, I really hope you guys enjoyed the videos that have come out so far on Hokkaido. Hopefully it makes you want to visit Hokkaido next time. <laughs> Even if you don't like the cold, it's worth visiting. And if you really, really want to avoid the snow, uh, just avoid the winter time. Come here during the spring or the summer. Summers are usually a lot l less humid here in Hokkaido. Uh, one of the, the people at one of the cafes that we went to in Hokkaido, he says, you don't need an air conditioner during the summertime. So that sounds like heaven to me. <laughs> Anyway, really hope you guys enjoyed these videos. Continue to stay safe and uh, happy 2022. <laughs> Let's cross our fingers that borders open uh, this year. I'll see you guys on my next video. Bye everybody. Bye bye. <laughs> Have a good day. Have a good day. <laughs> next video is from Sapporo, the biggest city in Hokkaido. I wonder what I'll film there. Maybe Sapporo ramen? <laughs>